guests and resource persons present here today. Welcome to your Senate. Thank you for accepting the invitation of this committee and for sharing your valuable time with us. This joint public hearing of the Committee of National Defense, Security, Peace, Unification, and Reconciliation with the Committees on Public Works and Finance is now called to order. Allow me first to acknowledge the presence of the members of the committee who are with us today. Physically present is Senator Robin Hood Padilla. Uh, virtually present are uh, Senators uh, Ramon Revilla and uh, Christopher Bongo. With the presence of our honorable colleagues, we now declare the presence of a quorum. Today, we will discuss four bills which propose the establishment of evacuation centers in every city and municipality throughout the country. And this was filed by, Senate, by uh, uh, Senator Bongo, Senate Bill 193, authored by Senator Bongo, Senate Bill number 940, authored by Senator Gachalian. Senate, Senate Bill 1200 or the Ligtas Pinoy Centers Act filed by Senator Lapid and Senate Bill 1652 filed by Senator Rafi Tulfo. For the record, this representation also filed a similar measure, measure Senate Bill 465, as well as Senator Revilla, who filed Senate Bill 1093, which both espouse the construction of a multi-purpose gym in all municipalities and cities to serve as evacuation center during times of calamity or disaster. But these measures were primarily referred to the Committee on Public Works. Ang, Pil ang Pilipinas ay isa sa mga... Bakit ba nahuhulog ako rito? Ayan. 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 Overweight daw. Nangasar ka pa. Ang, Pili ang Pilipinas ay isa sa mga pinakamadalas na dinadaanan ng mga bagyo kada taon. Libo-libong pamilya kinakailangan lumikas at pansamant pansamantalang sumilong at manatili sa mga evacuation center upang may salba ang kanilang pamilya sa pagdaan ng dilubyo. Sa panahon ng pag pagbaha, paggalaw ng lupa, pagputok ng bulkan, pagsiklab ng apoy sa mga kabahayan, Evacuation centers ang pangunahing takbuhan ng ating mga kababayan. Kakambal na ng pagiging Pilipino ang mga pagtama sa mga kalimidad, kaya marapat lang, lamang na tayo ay laging handa at mayroong epektibong polisiyang magsisiguro ng bawat buhay ay ligtas sa anumang banta at panganib nito. I also consider this as a pro-poor measure which caters to the urgent need, needs of the poorest families for a safe and decent temporary shelter during times of emergencies. Ang mga, pamilyang gawa sa light, ang mga pamilyang gawa sa light materials ang tahanan ng madaling buwagi na malakas na hangin o tangayin ng pagragasa ng tubig ang direktang makikinabang sa panukalang ito. Parapat lamang na tiyakin natin na sila ligtas at may maayos na matutuloy sa oras ng kalamidad. Hinto na po natin ang paglalagay sa kanila sa mga lugar na parang lata ng sardinas o kulungan ng manok kung saan sila ay nagsisiksikan sa maliit na espasyo. Pinapasukan ng tubig ulan Walang maayos na palikuran, nagkakahawaan ng ang may mga sakit at mga bata at matatanda ay nasa kawaawang kalagayan. This measure is part of Chapter 3 of the Philippine Development Plan and among the priority legislative agenda identified therein to strengthen social protection and mitigate natural health, climate, and other human-induced hazards. I look forward to a productive discussion on these bills this morning. Before we proceed, let us hear from our colleagues who would like to make an opening statement. Okay, uh, Senator Bolrivilla, do you have any opening statement? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good morning to our uh, very hardworking chairperson, my very good friend uh, who just turned a uh, senior citizen and just received his 20% discount. Happy birthday, pare. At uh, magandang umaga rin sa ating napakasipag na Senador, Senator Robin Hood Padilla. At sa lahat ng mga kasama, kapwa lingkod bayan na kasama natin ngayong umaga. Uh, this hearing is, uh, is very timely considering that uh, what transpired a few weeks ago in Turkey and Syria that uh, shook the entire world. Ang uh, naganap na sakuna sa mga bansang ito ay muli na namang kumukaw sa pangamba ng uh, taong bayan. 
Just last week, the Committee on Public Works, of which this representation, this chairperson, uh, conducted a public hearing on the structural uh, integrity of our country's infrastructures. Should uh, God uh, forbid, uh, forbid a uh, similar catastrophic disaster would hit the Philippines. Huwag naman po sa mangyari ito. But uh, ensuring their uh, structural integrity is one thing. Providing our countrymen safe uh, refuge in times of crisis is another. Vital infrastructures are crucial in uh, guaranteeing not only the safety of our people and when the disaster hits, but also in giving them an area where they can uh, seek retreat when buildings and structures around them collapse. According to the United Nations International Organization for Migration, IOM, evacuations in times of disasters, if managed properly, can be uh, effective in saving lives. Kaya naman sa umagang ito, ay hangat nating uh, usisayang maigi ang mga panukalang ito, lalo na at alam nating uh, ang pinangangambahang the big one ay maaring maganap na. Kaya wag naman po sana. After all, preparedness is key in saving lives. Uh, we hope that today's hearing will be uh, guided by the studies conducted by, by the UNIOM to come up with the most responsive uh, measure that will not only keep our people uh, from harm's way when disaster strikes, but will also ensure that the issues of uh, overcrowding, lack of privacy, and poor uh, hygiene are addressed so that uh, they remain safe and uh, secure. I, I look forward to a very fruitful discussion with all of you. Thank you and good morning. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Senator Rivillas. Uh, Senator Bongo, do you have any opening statement? Please proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, to my distinguished colleagues, uh, Senator Rivillas, Senator Padilla, and all the resource persons in attendance today, good day to all of you. The recent uh, World Risk Report in uh, 2022 showed that our country ranked first among the top uh, 10 countries with the highest disaster risk and ranked fourth among the countries with the highest exposure to disasters in the world. Dear colleagues, this report is a wake-up call for us to ensure the safety of Filipinos in times of any calamities. It is for this reason that I uh, filed Senate Bill Number 193 or the proposed Mandatory Evacuation Center Act of uh, 2022. This measure seeks to establish safe, permanent, and dedicated evacuation centers in every city, municipality, and province. It will also be responsible for providing the immediate assistance and basic needs for our uh, evacuees. Importante po na mayroon tayong nakahandang maayos at malinis na evacuation center sa buong bansa dahil maaring mangyari ang sakuna sa anumang oras. Tinamaan na nga ng bagyo, nagsisiksikan pa po sa mga temporary shelters habang may pandemia. Nakakaawa po ang ating mga kababayan. Huwag po natin silang uh, pahirapan pa dahil talagang naghihirap sila. Solusyonan na natin ito bago pa dumating ang panibagong uh, sakuna. Uh, Mr. Chair, tuwing may bagyo, ang mga kababayan natin na uh, inilalagay sa mga eskwelahan, classrooms are being converted into temporary evacuation centers. Ngayong may face-to-face -face classes na tayo, maantala yung pag-aaral ng ating mga kabataan kapag kinailangan gamitin ang mga classroom para sa mga evacuees. Kaya, kaya dapat sana mayroon tayong nakahandang permanenting evacuation centers sa mga na may malinis na sanitation, uh, may komportabling mahigaan at matulugan, lalo-lalo na po yung mga bata, yung may mga anak na sanggol pa, no? kawawa talaga. Makikita mo, <clears throat> nasa gym lang po, tapos yung CR nila, uh, hindi masyadong maayos. <clears throat> Importante rito, komportable sila hanggang makauwi sila sa kanilang mga pamamahay. At napaka-importante rin po yung sanitation. Sa kakaikot ko po sa buong Pilipinas, nakita ko talaga, Naabot ko na yan mula apare hanggang hulo. Hindi lang po apare. Uh, mula Batanes po. Uh, may lindol rin po noon. Kailangan talagang mayroon silang sariling uh, evacuation uh, center. Hindi lang sa lindol. 
kundi sa bagyo, uh, pagpotok ng bulkan, sunog, kadalasan po, uh, sunog. Wala silang uh, maayos na evacuation center. In fact, ngayong araw na ito, pupuntahan ko po rin po yung mga nasunogan dyan sa Mandaluyong. At, uh, I'm sure, uh, wala silang sariling evacuation uh, center na intended talaga para sa mga nasunogan. Along with my bill creating the Department of Disaster Resilience, which aims to have a highly specialized agency that will be tasked with ensuring adaptive disaster resilient and safe communities, I reiterate my call for the immediate passage of the Mandatory Evacuation Centers Bill. Sisingit ko na lang po, Mr. Chair, ito pong Department of Disaster Resilience. Sana po ay magkaroon na tayo ng isang uh, cabinet secretary level na departamento uh, na nakatutok talaga bago pa dumating yung bagyo. Yun po ang makikipag-coordinate sa iba't ibang departamento, iba't ibang agencies. Uh, preposition of goods, coordinate kaagad with the uh, LGUs and uh, DSWD at ilikas kaagad ang mga kababayan natin sa mga ligtas na lugar. Ito nga po yung evacuation uh, center at uh, pag-alis po ng bagyo, restoration of normalcy kaagad at rehabilitation efforts na hindi lang puro task force kasi pag task force po, pag bagong administrasyon, panibagong uh, tao na naman po at mapapabayaan yung uh, task force. Dapat po ay meron isang sariling departamento na nakatutok po dahil tuloy-tuloy naman po ang, ang disaster na dumarating sa, sa ating bansa. Hindi maiwasan yun, hindi nga natin alam kung kailan po darating. Anyway, salamat uh, Mr. Chair for prioritizing this measure. Uh, matagal ko na po itong isinusulong, itong mandatory evacuation uh, center. Now, it is uh, the best time for us to be ready for any calamities and emergencies. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Bongo. Uh, before we proceed, I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Rafi Tulfo. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, good morning, Mr. Chair, Senator Jingo Estrada, Senator uh, Bong Ribilla, and Senator Bongo. Good morning as well to our resource speakers, if there are any. Okay. It is an undisputed fact that the Philippines is one of the most disaster-prone countries in the world, being exposed to typhoons and earthquakes annually. We are unfortunately located in what is known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. And within the typhoon belt in the Pacific, kaya naman po tayo ng kararanas ng humigit kumulang dalawampung bagyo kada taon, with an average of seven to nine typhoons reaching landfall. Similarly, the Philippines also experiences at least one earthquake per day. Though most are not felt, PBOX records an average of 20 earthquakes a day and 100 to 150 earthquakes are felt per year. Dumana po tayo sa mga kalunos-lunos na dilubyong katulad ng Yolanda, Ondoy, Mount Pinatubo eruption. At least, at last year, ilang earthquakes po ang bumulagta sa atin, lalo na sa Rio ng Luzon. Bawat sakuna ang nagiging takbuan at kanlungan ng mga kababayan nating nasa lanta ay mga paaralan covered courts, mga gymnasium, at minsan mga simbahan ang nagsisilbing evacuation centers dahil ang mga local governments natin ay salat sa mga building na makaka-accommodate sana ng evacuees. Due to the sudden use of these buildings as evacuation centers, the real purpose for which they are built are rendered nugatory for a certain period of time. And most often than not, eventually they need to be rehabilitated and renovated as well. In schools, for example, classes are not only canceled because of a calamity, but cancellations are unduly extended because the buildings are being utilized as evacuation centers. With the passage of this bill, the use of schools, churches, and other edifices should be the last resort. Thus, it is high time that we establish a fully equipped and fully operational evacuation center that shall serve as a provisional safe place for evacuees during calamities. Importante rin po nang ipapatay yung evacuation centers ay may sapat na supply ng tubig, medisina, pagkain, damit at tulugan upang manatiling ligtas at walang sakit ang mga nasa lanta. Maliban sa pagpapatay ng evacuation centers, kinilangan din natin ng constant training upang mapaunlad ang kakayahan sa paghahanda at pagtugon sa mga oras ng kalamidad. We need to create and implement a clear and concrete evacuation plan na alam ng lahat na mamamayan. Makatuloy din po ito upang maging panatag ang ating mga kababayan 
at maiwasan ang panik at gulo sa oras ng kalamidad. Kailangan palagi tayong handa dahil walang oras na pinipilang sakuna. Thank you po, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Senator Tulfo. Asek, uh, uh, Comsec, at this point, uh, please acknowledge our guests and resource persons for the record. Thank you, Mr. Chair. A uh, pleasant morning to everyone. Um, from, let me uh, welcome the guest speakers for today from the Department of Education, Director Christian E. Rivero, Director 4, Mr. Nico Joy Bognalbal, Project Development Officer 2, Mr. Reginald Lizondra, DLLO. From the Department of Public Works and Highways, uh, we have Director Melvin B. Navarro, Bureau of Maintenance. From the Department of Social Welfare and Development, we have Mr. Ray E. Martija, Assistant Deputy Director, Disaster Response Management Bureau. For the Office of the Civil Defense, as well as National Disaster Reduction and Management Council, we have Mr. Roberto Padillo, Capacity Building and Training Service, as well as Ms. Aurora Mi Cabaneros, Capacity Building and Training Service. From the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, we have Undersecretary Augusto de la Peña, Undersecretary Origin Organizational Transformation and Human Resources. We also have Undersecretary Natus Rodriguez. We also have Attorney Erica Cristel Romero, Mr. Alvin Fernando. We also have uh, Ms. Lisa Socorro Manzano, Division Division. Chief, we also have Ms. Michelle Angela Grace Mendoza Villarosa, Senior Geologist. We also have Ms. Marie Cristel Hugo, Senior Geologist. We also have Director Romy Rose Padin, DLLO. For the Department of Budget and Management, we have Ms. Rowena Marte, Chief Budget and Management Specialist, Mr. Ray Reynaldo Moreno, Senior Budget and Management Specialist. We also have Ms. Madeline Napalang, Budget and Management Specialist 1. That would be all, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Comsec. Uh, Senator Rafi Tulfo, uh, do you have any questions? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, this was already mentioned during the last hearing with uh, Senator Bong Rivilla to include uh, earthquake uh, preparedness natin. And I'm going to ask this question again. Because uh, now, presently, the evacuation centers are schools, gymnasiums, uh, simbahan pa nga. Now, my, my question is, doon sa mga DPWH or sino mga agency na atasan to make sure that these buildings are safe, uh, meron bang ginawang retrofitting sa lahat ng schools. Dapat kahit na hindi during evacuation, meron ginagawang retrofitting to make sure na stable yung mga building sa mga eskwelahan. Uh, kasi kung gagamitin po natin itong evacuation center, paano kung nagkaroon ng mga aftershocks na mas malakas, di manapunada po yung ating mga taong uh, dinala doon sa evacu evacuation centers. So, ang tanong ko po sa kinaukulan, have you done uh, auditing of the schools, yung kadalasan na uh, dinadalhan ng mga evacuish and how safe is, is it and uh, um, meron na bang ginawa kay mga retrofitting sa mga eskulahan na ito? Maybe the uh, representative from the uh, Department of Public Works may answer the question of Senator Tulfo. Uh Good morning, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Your Honors. I'm uh, Director Melvin Navarro of the Bureau of Maintenance. Uh, 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 for the question of uh, the Honorable uh, Senator uh, Rapi uh, Tolpo, uh, the DPWH uh, had done uh, more than 100 uh, retrofitting uh, projects uh, in uh, Metro Manila. Since uh, 2016, we started our retrofitting uh, in uh, uh, in preparation for the big one uh, in NCR. And uh, we have uh, uh, 
uh, retrofitted more than 100 uh, school buildings and around 14 uh, 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 hospitals, uh, Your Honor. Okay. My uh, follow-up question for that. Sanang mga location ito? We have uh, the list of the school buildings, Your Honor. Uh, we will punish the committee of Uh, the list uh, of uh, these school buildings, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, my follow-up question kasi, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, sino mga contractor nito? Can you also furnish us the names of the contractors na nabigyan ng kontrata para gumawa ng retrofitting? Uh, yes, Your Honor. We will uh, furnish you the uh, contractors. Uh, in fact, the and, and just make sure, sorry, sorry, let me interrupt. And just make sure, ito yung binigyan ng kontrata, yung isang kontraktor, and then sinabcontract pa sa isa pang kontraktor hanggang bandang huli, lumit na lang yung budget na allocated for that retrofitting, eh, yung mga materials na ginamit ay substandard na. So pagdating ng earthquake, wala din, sayang din po yung retrofitting dahil sa korupsyon. You follow me, sir, uh, Director? Your Honor, uh, Our implementing office uh, is uh, the uh, uh, our NCR, the National Capital Region, uh, and uh, uh, maybe they can uh, they are the one that can answer that question, Your Honor. But but since you are the director of uh, the inspection or whatever your title is, it sounds to me you you have a very important position. What is your important uh, what is your position again, sir? I'm the director of the Bureau of uh, Maintenance, uh, Your Honor, and our uh, office is uh, coordinating... Okay, you don't need to tell, them, to tell me where your office is. So you're director of the maintenance. Who does the inspection after the retrofitting is completed? Uh, it's the implementing office, Your Honor. And who is that? And who's the, who's, the, which the office national, is that? The National Capital Region... Uh, is the one implementing this office and they have their own inspectorate team before uh, okay uh, after uh, the fact who does who does the inspection and who who certifies the the building na yan ay na retrofit na yan ay matibay na and it can withstand a 7.2 earthquake etc who does that uh it's the implementing uh, office uh, your honor the national capital region but the uh The preparation of the detailed uh, engineering design was done by our Bureau of Design. And who are those people? They are the technical, the structural engineers of our Bureau of Design uh, okay. prepared the, all these uh, the, uh, uh, detailed engineering the, design. Then the, I, need, I need to get their names, sir. The yes, sir. We will... who will certify, who, who do certifies na yung building na yon after na magawa ng retrofitting ng mga contractor, kung sino man yung mga contractor na yon na safe na, na talaga it can withstand a 7.2 earthquake. I need those names. Yes, sir, Your Honor. We will, we will get all the, uh, the, the information that uh, you require, Your Honor. And, and I want to make sure na yung mga nabigyan ng contract, yung mga contractor nabigyan ng kontrata, isa lang. Kasi there are times na yung sa retrofitting, it happens. And you will agree with me, and don't lie to me, na yung bibigyan ng kontrakto sa retrofitting, yung primary contractor na may pangalan, may AAA na lisensya, pero wala naman siya mga equipment o dahil maliit lang yung ba nalilitan siya sa budget, pipitas lang siya dyan and then ipapasa niya sa subcon. That happens. Dapat hindi nangyari yan. Pero nangyari yan ngayon eh. Na ipinas sa subcon, yung retrofitting, dapat sa retrofitting, hindi siya subcon. Dapat kung mag-subcon man kayo, which is bawal, siguro sa mga karasada, pero sa retrofitting, we're, we're talking about lives of people here. Uh, yes, Your Honor, I can... It's the implementing office already that uh, handles the uh, the supervision of uh, the retrofitting projects, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Chair, is there any way that we can talk to these people who yung nag award ng contract sa mga re, nag retrofit na mga contractors? And then second, I need to uh, get the names of those contractors and then the names of those people na nag-certify na safe na yung uh, building na, na retrofit, Mr. Chair. Well, uh, thank you, Senator Tulfo. We will ask the uh, Comsec to uh, uh, to invite the person responsible.
on our next hearing. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Thank you, Senator Tulfo. Senator Bonrevilla. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I just want to uh, to ask the DPWH, nasa na yung secretary nila at uh, mga important legislation, uh, legislation like this, no? itong ganitong klase mga measure, dapat ay uh, nandito yung secretary para at any given time, we ask them questions. Pati secretary, nasa palawat. Nandiyan yung mga, huh? mga tao nila, no? para masagot yung mga tanong like yung question ni uh, Senator Tulfo. Para tayong binabaliwala na nila nito eh. In our hearing, wala, uh, nung public works, wala sila. Ngayon, in, in, in your hearing, wala din. Uh, warning, ha? Warning. Actually, nag-iisa lang ako rito eh. Kaya nga. Well, according to the uh, committee secretary of uh, your Committee on National Defense, uh, almost all the uh, officials of the Department of Public Works are in Palawan. Ang ginagawa? <laughs> They have a prior meeting. They have a prior meeting in Palawan, according to the uh, committee secretary. Maybe in our next hearing, if there would be one again, I think we will have to uh, invite them or summon them here in this uh, particular hearing. You have any question, uh, Senator Revilla? Yeah, okay. the, 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 just a DBM few. Uh, just a few questions, huh? uh, To DBM. Uh, Adyan ba ang DBM? May representative tayo ng DBM? Baka wala din. Rowena Marte or... Do you have any... Representative from DBM? Representative? Yes, sir. We're present po. All right. Good morning po. Okay, good morning, Rowena. Yeah. Maganda itong uh, layunin ng uh, ating uh, mga panukala na dinidinig ngayong umaga. Gusto ko lang malaman kung may budgetary requirements ng mga panukalang ito at napag-aralan napag -aralan na ba ito ng, uh, ng DBM? Sir, uh, we will submit for our official position paper. However, uh, allow us to manifest po yung aming initial na uh, comments on the appropriation. Um, Ang LGUs po uh, provided uh, under Section 21 ng uh, RA number 10121 ay may 5% po para sa LDRRMF and that uh, fund po may uh, be used for the construction of the uh, evacuation centers. Ganun din po, uh, ang LGUs po ay may 20% development fund and it can be also used for the construction of uh, the evacuation centers. So, uh, accordingly, uh, we suggest po na yung budgetary requirement for the construction and maintenance and operation po nitong mga evacuation centers be primarily charged against the local funds of the LGU's concern, sir. Uh, uh, before that, Senator Revilla, if I may interject. Uh, Madam, Ito bang uh, sinasabi niya 20%? Is it sufficient enough to sa 4th, 5th, and 6th class municipalities to build an evacuation center? Sir, for uh, LGUs, uh, may mga may mga iba-iba pong services pa kasi sila. For for the lower income class, sir, those uh, those LGUs that are not financially um, capable to provide the evacuation centers, um, nakasaad naman po sa local government code, Section 17F, that the national government may uh, provide or augment the services uh, na hindi po ma-provide ng LGUs. Yes, do, you so, have it? do you have funds for it? Um, regarding the funding po ng... Uh, we differ po sa DPWH since sila po yung, um, I think sila po yung, um, in charge in the, in the uh, building po ng evacuation centers. Okay. Senator Bong? Yeah, so, uh, other way of saying na, uh, yung makaka-afford pwedeng uh, kakayanin nila eh, tama ka doon ano but uh, what about 
yung mga municipalities na hindi kaya like the uh, third class, fourth class, fifth class municipalities they cannot afford uh, ano uh, i-augment ng uh, provincial government siguro iyon yung mga dapat uh, pag-aralan mabuti no uh, para yung source of funds and uh, dapat ma matutukan mabuti ito at ma talagang wag masayang yung pagaganda yung panukalang batas na talagang uh, disaster preparedness no yun ang importante so okay thank th th anong masasabi mo sa uh, DBM uh, Mr. Chair Sir uh, Congress uh, Honorable Congressman uh, I sorry Honorable Senator um, in the bill po, we um, uh, there are provisions na ipaprioritize po yung mga um, LGUs na, na financially incapable to establish their own evacuation centers. We support po yung panukalang uh, panukalang yun, yung provision. Since uh, yun nga po, um, ang national government din po ay medyo, ah, uh, not medyo, kundi meron din po tayong fiscal, uh, reduced fiscal space because of the uh, SC ruling on the Mandanas Garcia cases. So, uh, hindi naman po natin, uh, with, uh, we support the the proposed uh, measures, uh, Honorable Senator, but yun nga po, we, um, our resources din po naman ay uh, limited in the national government. Kaya we uh, propose po that since, since the provision po of evacuation centers uh, falls under the uh, devolved functions of the local government units, we, we propose that um, the funding requirement be primarily um, charge sa local fund. However, since meron nga din po tayong provision na kapag hindi po kaya ng mga local government units, ay pwede pong pumasok si national government. So, pwede po, pwede po natin um, provide uh, based on prioritization na nakalagay din naman po sa proposed bill, yung pong mga uh, evacuation center sa local government units na hindi po makapagtayo nito. Yeah, uh, ito yun, yan yung uh, effect ng Mandanas ruling no? Nung, uh, on uh, decentralization. So, kung ganun, po pwedeng mag-augment ang national government. Hindi natin masasabi na LGUs lang. So, po pwede talaga. So in short, uh, this is just one way of saying na parang pupunduan natin para ano po pwede. Hindi, hindi natin po pwede sabihin na hindi po pwedeng uh, suportahan ng DBM o ng national government itong proyektong ito. So yan yung uh, dapat natin gawin. O ngayon naman to DPWH, no? ang uh, inyong ahensya, ang uh, aatasang isa katuparan ng mga provision ng mga panukalang ito no ano ang magiging plano nyo rito by region ba depende sa population depende ba sa vulnerable vulnerabilities bubulol ko uh, ng uh, natural disaster so paano po ito Uh, your Mr. Chairman, uh, your honors, uh, for the DPWH, we have been implementing uh, uh, evacuation center since uh, 2016. And uh, as of uh, January 31, uh, we had already allocated uh, 17 billion uh, uh, for the evacuation center and for a total project of uh, 427. Uh, we had completed already 359 uh, projects, ongoing uh, 59 and not yet started nine. So uh, 
uh, for that is up to 2022 uh, funding. Anong bill nyo ka mo? Ano yung sinasabi mo? Yung mga evacuation centers. Evacuation centers. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, Naka-allocate na kami ng 17 billion. Okay. Since 2016, uh, ang total number nito ay 427 na evacuation center. At ang Dito nagawa ay, ng po namin... Excuse me. Port, hindi ito port yung mga eskwelahan, ha? Hindi ito eskwelahan. Hindi, hindi, hindi eskwelahan ito, sir. Evacuation, evacuation center, center talaga. Okay. Yeah. Para klaro lang. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And completed na po natin eh, 359. Uh, ongoing ang 59 at uh, not yet started 9. So, that is up to 2022. And for 2023, we had allocated uh, 70 million per region. Uh, good region. for uh, at least two evacuation center per region. So, uh, continuous po. Ang, so, ilan ang, pa yung pagagawa in, ninyo? Ilan pa yung plano na magagawa ninyo? Na, ang target nyo per year, no? Hindi yung 70 billion lang kung ilang billion yung pinanilalagay yung pondo. Ilan ang target nyong malagay kada taon o, o ano, for, for three years program, for example? Uh, yung depende po sa ma-release na pondo sa amin, wala pa kaming target. Dati-dati po, ang tinatarget namin ay 100 million per uh, per region that is good for three uh, evacuation center pero for 2023 nag-scale down ho yung budget to 70 million lang po yeah dapat siguro yan ang pag-aralan ng, ng DPWH no uh, anyway kaya that's why I, I want secretary to be here sa mga meeting na ganyan yung ganitong hearing para masagot niya mapaghandaan dahil hindi natin masabi kung dumating talaga itong the big one sa ating bansa wag naman sana dumating pero Kung sakasakaling dumating man yun, at least preparado tayo. No? Kaya kailangan lagi kayong handa. So, again, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. At uh, yun lang, pangaralan mo na lang itong mga to at uh, baka sa'yo makinig. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Senator Revilla. Sa susunod siguro, the next hearing, may we invite uh, uh, the Secretary of the Department of Public Works to attend the hearing. Kahit virtual lang, mas maganda nga, walang tao rito, tipid ako sa pagkain. Well, anyway, uh, ano pangalan nito? Director? Director Navarro? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sinabi mo kanina doon sa tanong ni Senator Revilla na ilan yung evacuation centers na naipatayo na ng DPWH? Uh, naipatayo na po natin, Your Honor, uh, 359 na po yung tapos. Where where are these evacuation centers situated? Uh, uh, all over the country, uh, Your Honor. Uh, na, Naka-spread out uh, ang ang mga projects natin yeah, all can over you identify it one by one for, for for me please yes sir honor can you identify it one by one uh i don't have the list only the summary okay with the summary Oh, good luck, you know, well, uh, Director Melvin. Uh, sorry, sorry for that, Your Honor. Uh, uh, 
Your Honor, if you allow me to enumerate in Luzon area, we have allocated uh, 8.6 billion and for a, for a total number of 216 uh, uh, evacuation centers. And for uh, Visayas, uh, we have allocated 3.2 billion uh, for a total of 81 evacuation centers. And for Mindanao, we have allocated 5.1 billion for a total number of 130 uh, evacuation centers, Your Honor. So, malit yung ina allocate ng 70 billion. Tama ba ako? For, for 2023, uh, Your Honor, uh, we had allocated uh, 70 million per uh, region. Se 70 million per region. Masyado malit yes, ko. Honor. For 2023. Medyo na-scale down ho yung 2023 have, budget. For how many region. cities do we have in the country? We have 100 plus cities, right? 146 cities to be exact. And there are yes, less than 1,000, approximately 1,500 uh, municipalities in the country. How can that be? Because 70 million per region. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, mababa po talaga yung allocation natin for 2023 for evacuation center. So, uh, Siguro kailangan ho talaga natin yung... This will not yung, come into realization if that is the case. If you only allot 70 million per region, how many regions do we have? We uh, have 16. 13, uh, 16, 16 regions. Opo. Oh. Paano yung mangyayari yun? Uh, siguro... Uh, Maybe the first, yung... first class municipalities or first class uh, or the cities can afford to put up their own evacuation centers, especially here in uh, Metro Manila. Kasi meron silang uh, malalaking pondo, yung mga disaster, 20% disaster fund. Am I correct? How uh, many yes, evacuation Lord. centers have you put up in Metro Manila? Uh, and where are these Met located? In Metro Manila, uh, we have three. Uh, we have funded three, Your Honor. We completed one. Uh, well, uh, and we have uh, ongoing where, one where? and not yet started. You completed one, one where? Saan? Uh, well, hindi mo alam ko saan. Uh, sandali lang po, Your Honor. We will, uh, ano po. Uh, i anun ko lang ho yung, yung, ano, ah, uh, Ang natapos namin ho sa Quezon City na po. Gano gano kalaki? Ah, uh, mga maliliit lang ho ng mga ano nito lot area ah uh, square meters. Sa, square uh, meters. Kaya pataas po yung mga mga four four story po yung mga ginagawa ho natin dito. Ilan square meters yung lot? Ah uh, Hindi ko po masyadong ma ano ma remember yung square meter yung lot but uh, normally po ang requirement ho sa outside Metro Manila ay eh, 3000 square meter po. So within Metro Manila ilan? Tatlo tatlo ho yung nakapundo po sa Metro Manila. Okay, you said you built one in Quezon City. Are these exclusive only for Quezon City residents? Uh, it's uh, up to the after the completion of uh, the evacuation center, Your Honor. Who funded uh, this? Have, national government? Kaya ba nagfund nito? Yes, Your Honor. We funded the... So, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng sumilong yung mga hindi residente na Quezon City? Tama po ba ako? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, it's a... Uh, after the completion of the build of the evacuation center, we turn over this to the local government unit for so, its operation and maintenance. So the local government unit has the say. Kung sino pwedeng, uh, halimbawa, may sunog halimbawa sa San Juan. Wala naman kami evacuation center doon. 
hindi naman nagpapatayo yung mayor doon ng evacuation center. Oh, hindi pwedeng pumunta ron? Ah, uh, it's I think uh, it's already the local government unit of Quezon City that uh, uh, operates the uh, and maintain the evacuation center your honor. So, uh, proper coordination I hope uh, uh, will be uh, done with them so they can Yes, kung ngayon ng no, mayor ng Quezon City na uh, sumilong yung hindi niya hindi niya kababayan hindi niya constituent so hindi talaga pa pwede kung tinurn over niya na sa local government unit, tama? Yes, Your Honor. So, ay, uh, turn over so na ay, po itong, sa yung, yung batas na pinag-uusapan natin ngayon, itong bill na pinag-uusapan natin ngayon, ay uh, naglalayo na magkaroon ng isang evacuation per municipality and per city. And uh, dito si Metro Manila, palagay ko kakayanin, pero sa iba't ibang probinsya, iba't ibang lalawi, uh, lalawigan at mga siyudad, at mga munisipyo sa 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 iba't ibang probinsya baka hindi kayanin dahil sa kakulangan sa kakapusan ng uh, kanilang uh, pondo para makapagpatayo ng evacuation center. So kailangan talaga ang tulong ng DBM at ng uh, Department of Public Works and Highways. Anyway, uh, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of uh, the representative from the ILG, ILG ASEC uh, Donny Puno. Thank you very much Mr. Chairman. Okay, uh, we were talk. We were discussing about the uh, uh, this bill. Uh, this bill intends to put up a, an evacuation center in all cities and municipalities nationwide. Uh, may I know your the take of uh, the department with regard to this uh, particular bill? Uh, while thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. While the department is still finalizing its position, uh, we definitely support such a bill, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as you know, the DILG is part of the NDRMC as well, so uh, we feel that it will also benefit. Uh, we we see what's out there whenever there are d disasters. Now, so I think uh, we 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 do agree with it that there should be evacuation centers. Uh, in uh, in uh, all cities, uh, we do understand that there will be challenges to this, uh, but uh, the DILG will also assist the uh, LGUs in certain matters, such as uh, locating sites, possible sites for these uh, for these evacuation centers. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. The problem here, uh, I'm concerned about the fourth, fifth, and sixth class municipalities uh, in the provinces, especially the provinces where do, where. They do not have enough funds to uh, to put up their own evacuation centers. How can the DILG help these uh, poor municipalities? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, the DILG is aware that the struggle will probably come from the lower class municipalities. Uh, and funding will always be a problem there. Uh, we can probably take a look at some programs that may be implemented uh, where we can assist where, where we can assist these uh, municipalities. We have some sort of experience in this uh, the past couple of years uh, wherein the DALG had the program for the uh, informal settlers. We did assist the lower class municipalities there. Maybe we can use that as some sort of a model uh, insofar as this bill is concerned, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Asik Puno. Maybe uh, in, in our next hearing, kahit uh, umatend na lang uh, virtually yung mga officials ng DPWH, especially the uh, Secretary of uh, the Department of uh, Public Works, as requested by uh, Senator Bong Revilla. Anyway, Asik uh, Doni, can you just submit your deposition paper of your department? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as soon as it's available, we will send it to the committee uh, uh, right away. Thank you. And uh, we will organize a TWG or technical working group to discuss in more the detail, the specific provisions of these bills and to further refine the technical aspects of the measures. And I, would, I do hope that your offices will uh, send the most qualified individuals to help us in crafting this important uh, Legislation. Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, the DILG will actively participate at the in the TWG. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Asik.
Is there any representative from the NDR or RMC? Yes, Mr. Padillo. Yes. Mr. Robert Padillo. Robert Padillo. Mr. Robert Padillo, are you are you with us virtually? Mr. Chairman, uh, we are present, Mr. Chairman. May we get your comments or feedback regarding this particular bill? Uh, Mr. Chairman, as the Secretary of Dis Disaster Preparedness Fielder, uh, we have already... Uh, for a while, Mr. Chairman. Apologies, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman, as the Secretary of the Disaster Preparedness Pillar, we already actually have a move, Mr. Chair, uh, in regards to the evacuation centers. As a matter of fact, uh, there was an effort already to look into <clears throat> enhancing the uh, 2012 policy of the NDRMC on the evacuation centers, Mr. Chair, and that in itself is our support, Mr. Chair, to this particular bill. So you are supportive of this particular measure? Absolutely, Mr. Chair. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I, uh, we regard this bill as uh, a big leap, Mr. Chair, to really establish and institutionalize uh, mandatory establishment of the evacuation centers, Mr. Chair, in which case this is already echoed yeah. in uh, the NDRMC policy since 2012, Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Padillo. Uh, the the Ed, DSWD, DSWD and DNR, do you have any, uh, uh, may I know your feedbacks or comments yeah. with regard to this uh, particular measure? Maybe Deb Ed Muna? Ah, yeah. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, your honors, uh, Christian Rivero, po, director of the Deb Ed DRRMS. Uh, we are still waiting, Mr. Chair, for the final clearance and signature of BP Secretary, but all indications, Mr. Chair, is we DepEd would support this because this bill is actually the realization of our dreams na yung classroom po ay wag nang gamitin as evacuation centers kasi yung, yung poverty of learning, Mr. Chair, every time po na ginagamit yung uh, classroom, wala, hindi po pumapasok sa paaralan yung ating mga estudyante, nag-worsen lang po. So, and ideally naman, Mr. Chair, yung mga classrooms naman po natin are, are, are not built to become um, uh, evacuation center. So, ang typical knee-jerk reaction po ng ating, pag may emergency po, ay nagagamit po yung ating mga classrooms. So, naapektuhan din po yung pag-aaral po ng, ng ating po mga estudyante. We will submit, uh, Mr. Chair, our position paper po once uh, signed up by the uh, our uh, BP secretary. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Rivero. Okay. Yes, uh, DSWD. Yes, good morning, Mr. Chair. Uh, the DSW is in full support to the bills as we already transmitted our position paper on this month, last November uh -huh. 2022. So this would be a big help for the Department of Social Welfare as the, the vice chair for disaster response, given that the evacuation center is one of the most challenging part when it comes to uh, disaster operations. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Martija. Any comments from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources? Uh, Honorable Chair, uh, distinguished senators, uh, good morning. Uh, on behalf of the DNR, it is our pleasure and honor to be invited here as uh, subject matter experts to this uh, committee hearing uh, on the establishment of uh, evacuation centers. Uh, while we are still uh, finalizing our position paper, um, let me state that uh, the DNR recognizes that the evacuation centers are critical in increasing the Philippines' adaptive capacity to disasters, whether from natural or human-induced ones. We also note that many local government units still do not have safe, dedicated, and permanent centers, which can serve not only as refuge for affected families during the onslaught of disasters, 
but also as temporary shelters while rebuilding their economically stricken homes. Thus, permanent evacuation centers, which can withstand disasters, are also critical to resiliency and to jump starting the recovery of these communities. Our past experience with numerous calamities are lessons learned to invest in identifying areas that are guaranteed to ensure the safety of communities during these events. The department therefore supports the proposed bills to establish these centers in all cities, provinces, and municipalities. To implement this, the DNR is of the view that there is a need for a sustained and programmatic construction of safer permanent centers in the country, which prioritizes highly vulnerable LGUs. This initiative needs to feature a climate and risk climate and disaster risk-based prioritization criteria, which can be facilitated by the NDRMC in consultation with the LGUs. The criteria stipulated in these bills are good starting points. And if I may be allowed to add, the availability of utilities such as access to safe and potable drinking water, as well as evacuation routes for all hazards need better articulation. In addition, Evacuation areas for livestock and domestic animals, especially for rural communities, is a good practice already being applied in Bangladesh and in other countries. The lessons learned from these countries can also be considered. Lastly, we recommend that the site viability criteria through the DNR's Mines and Geosciences Bureau should be made mandatory in site selection. Along these lines, uh, May we be allowed to submit our specific recommendations in our policy paper, uh, in, in our position paper, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, when can you uh, submit your position paper on behalf of the DNR? Within this week, sir. Uh -huh. When, when? Within this week, sir. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. De La Peña. De La Peña, ba siya? Yes, sir. Okay. Anyway, uh, thank you very much uh, to all our resource persons for attending today's public hearing. And uh, thank you, ASEC Doni Puno, for, for being physically present here in today's hearing. And also, my uh, colleagues who attended virtually and physically, thank you very much uh, uh, for attending. And we will also be happy to receive more information, reports, and related policies from your respective offices that you may be able to share before uh, this committee, which can guide us in writing the best version of this measure. Maybe we can schedule another hearing probably next week with the attendance of uh, uh, the officials of the Department of Public Works and Highways. Thank you very much. Uh, the meeting is hereby suspended.